Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. This is simplifying rational expressions. Well, the first step is to factor and break apart the numerator and the denominator of each fraction. So what I want to do is take a look at the common term here for the top numbers in the rational expression. I notice I can factor out a 2 and an x, which leaves me on the inside a binomial of x minus 3y. On the bottom, I'm looking at the 4 and the 12, and I know I can factor out a 4, and there's no other letter variables factors in common, so on the inside that would give me x minus 3y. Now the good thing is that the x minus 3y binomial is a common factor top and bottom. So when you cross it out, that's canceling, because that just gives you a whole other name for 1. In other words, ignore that, cross it out, erase it, and let's see if I have a simplified answer. What I'm left with is putting it all together, 2x over 4. Oh, I notice again I can factor out another factor of 2, top and bottom. So my final answer, simplified, would be x over 2. You don't need to write the 1 next to the x. x over 2, final answer. You try the one on the bottom. Notice they're trinomials. You'll have to factor those out. All right, to simplify the bottom expression, I need to factor out the numerator and denominator. So the first one has a non-1 coefficient for the leading term. And that's a little tricky. So in green here, I have factor lists and try to find the right combination. I need to try to get a positive 2x for a middle term. Let's see if that'll work. So I'm going to try different combinations between the 2 and the 1 and the 1 and the 12. 2 times 1 or 1 times 12. Is there any way to add or subtract those to get a positive 2x middle term? No, that's not going to work. Let's try something different. How about 2 times 12 and 1 times 1? Nope, that's not going to work. So I know that a 1 and a 12 in the last part of each of those binomials is not going to work. So let's try the next combination. How about 2 times 2 and 1 times 6? 4 and 6. Ah, if the signs are correct, that will work. So let's put a 2x here and an x here. And I want the first 2x to be multiplied by a 2 at the end. And let's make that a positive 2 and a negative 6. Does that work? No. How about switching the signs around? Let's go. positive 6 and negative 2. Alright, let's do a quick double check of the middle term. 6 times x, positive 6x. 2x times negative 2 is negative 4x. That will work. Okay, on the bottom, it's a little bit easier. I'm going to be, of course, having an x here and an x here. And a 9 is either a 1 times 9 or a 3 times 3. What's going to be the right combination to make it work? How about a 3 times a 3? So I'm going to put a 3 here and a 3 here and everything's going to be positive so x plus 3, x plus 3. Is there any way to factor out anything? Oh, I do notice that this first binomial can be factored further. In fact, we probably should have tried that first. Let's take a look at factoring a 2 out of that binomial, which would leave me x plus 3. And I still have my x minus 2 binomial from the previous factoring I did. On the denominator, I have x plus 3 twice. Now I can cancel out my x plus 3 terms. And the answer is going to be 2 times x minus 2 over x plus 3. Final answer. Three. All right, there you have it. 
I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard and take care.